Hi everyone, it's Noelle from Beauty Vice. Today I'm going to go ahead and explain how to use the Carista Soleil hair mask. Given that a lot of us are sitting home right now with a lot of time, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys how to use this mask. It's a great mask for when you're in the sun. It protects your hair from the UV ray exposure, from dryness and dullness. The mask retails for $59 on Kerasas.com. However, on Beauty Vice, you can buy it for $39. We do give great discounts, so it makes it a lot more feasible to buy. Uh, all that you're going to need when you're applying it, as I use it, is I have my eavesdrop brush, which I like it because it's just it's just really good for pulling out the tangles. I have a mix of just the regular, regular leave-in conditioner and water since my hair is dry, and just what I'm gonna to use to put my hair up. This is the mask, it's the Kerastase Soleil Mask UV Defense Active. Like I said, it's a bright orangey color. It's a gel mask, so if you notice, it's not super creamy which is nice because that way it's not going to be so noticeable if you leave it in your hair throughout the day while you're running around. I use the Eves Dorif brush. I really love this. I got it at, Dermala, at the Derm store. And then this is the way leave-in, but like I said, what I do is I get, I get rose water and I basically do 50-50 just to dampen my hair a little bit. If you don't really need this at all, the leave-in conditioner, if you wash your hair in the morning, you just, like I said, just make sure your hair is not soaking wet. All you really need is your mask, a white tooth comb, a white tooth brush, and that's it. You just put it up however you want to wear it that day. And you leave it in. It's a great mask for sun exposure. The heat really activates it, the active ingredients in the mask, and that's what's really going to get your hair to look shiny and soft. We are currently working on a keratin complex blowout video, so I'm just trying to kind of condition it really well before we do that. So to start with, I'm going to get, this is rose water and a little bit of leave-in conditioner. And I'm going to just dampen my hair. Now for those of you who use hair masks often, um, what a lot of people don't know is that you should never apply a hair mask to soaking wet hair. Water acts like a repellent in your hair and what it does is that when your hair is soaking wet, it actually will not allow whatever treatment you're putting on your hair to absorb. So it's best to always apply a hair mask, hair treatment, even a conditioner to damp towel dried hair so that your hair is a little bit wet, but it's not soaking wet so that it allows the product to actually be absorbed by your hair. A lot of people don't know that. I've just done so much reading and research on this and I find that everybody tells you this. So now that my hair is just, like I said, just a little bit damp, I'm going to go ahead and the mask is like a bright orangey. It's like a gel mask. I'm going to concentrate more than anything on my ends because I have dry hair and what I want is basically mid links to ends just to protect it. I'm going to be sitting on the sun so what I want is to add some moisture. It will add shine. It's like a nice little hair conditioner mask for you to do when you're going to be outside. I mean, you can do it if you're going to spend the day at the park with your kids, if you're going to be doing gardening, you know, any of these things that we're all finding ourselves doing a lot more of now. And you just put it in your hair. I make sure that I do saturate my ends really well. Once you are done, you're going to close up your mask, and then you're going to, once again, comb through your hair. This is why these wide tooth brushes and combs come in handy, because they pull less on your hair. So I'm just going to go ahead and comb it through. And what I like to do is I just like to do like a little bun on each side. I wear a hat when I'm in the sun to protect my face from sun damage. So I'm just going to go like this, pin that one down and pin this side down. And that's it. Just 
just going to keep it like this and go out in the sun. Like I said, as long as I'm in the sun, I'm just going to wear it. This is specially created for sun exposure. So if you're going to be at the beach, you're going to be hanging at the pool, and you just want to add shine and protect your hair from dryness and give it a little bit more moisture, it's a great sun treatment for those who want to give their hair a little bit of pampering while they're outside. Okay, I hope you enjoy. Once this is in, just going to let it sit there while I'm outside. When I come in, I'm just going to shampoo my hair, condition it, and I'll go ahead and dry it as usual. Thanks, hope you enjoy.